Thanks for staying up with us tonight, everyone. There may have been more noise and safety complaints than fun with Michigan's new fireworks law. It has lawmakers taking another look at it and proposing some changes. Brian Johnson explains what kinds of fireworks could be restricted and when people can set them off. Fireworks are symbols of freedom and celebration that bring with them bright colors and a lot of noise. And this year, politicians and officials from around the state have also heard some noise. We have heard a few complaints about noise, uh, people using them too late at night. The governor's office to date has received some 2,700 complaints. The new law restricts local municipalities from setting firework curfews for 30 days a year, the day before, during, and after the 10 national holidays. That restriction has left a lot of people frustrated. The noise does bother me, you know, if it's... And, uh, um, I've got a neighbor last year shot it over top of my house there, you know. But not everyone has noticed a change. I don't think it was any different for noise level. No. Um, in fact, I think our show this year was a lot calmer than what we've had in the past. Lawmakers passed a law to increase tax revenue in the state and bring jobs, and they did both. It's a success that we've gotten all of this money in for fire departments to use now. I think that's a wonderful success. About $60 million of fireworks were sold in the state, supplying more than $1 million for the fire marshal's training fund. We'll review the law and look at the city and township's concerns, but I want to emphasize is they have the power right now to control the times, to control the days, other than the national holidays. And after getting so many complaints, there may be some changes to the law coming. In Corona, Brian Johnson, Fox 47 News. Lawmakers hope to have a list of potential changes by Labor Day, the next national holiday you might hear a lot of fireworks.